What's up, everyone? Nakoda here, back with another Let's Play of Guardians of the Galaxy Telltale version. Um, this week, I'm going to try to release two of these because Analog Kid 83 and I did not get to record. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three. Previously on Guardians of the Galaxy. You don't know a lot about me, but before I met you guys, there was someone. Oh yeah, I remember her. I really enjoyed this story from Rocket. Because it just... Tell more She's about the gone, character that we didn't know about. Maybe with that relic, I can make her... Ungone. Yeah, I know, you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future, you'll use your words instead of your fists. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. I can't promise that. Well, try. For me. The Eternity Forge resides here, pending such time as it can be wielded responsibly. Until mm. then, she shall remain entombed across the galaxy come find me peter be waiting for you that's creepy well i hope you guys had um a good fourth of july if you're american like myself i hate the holiday i hate it because people don't know when to stop and people aren't respectful to each other with the damn fireworks it's you so annoying there, peter. Oh yeah, we went into this bright white light, and then, yeah. Drinking on my diet caffeine-free Pepsi today. <laughs> Sale, 50% off. Looks like a game store. Or, no, a movie store. I got it, Mom. Thanks, baby. Ugh. Another headache? Just a little one. Stop worrying. It's fine. Oh, I didn't mean to pause. I didn't mean to pause. Just took me by surprise. I wish I could help. I know you do. Some things, Peter. They're not yours to control. I better get that prescription before the pharmacy closes. Stay out of trouble till I get back, okay? Be good. <laughs> no dice, Mom. You gotta love me for who I am. <laughs> oh, I do. Sometimes against my better judgment. I'll be back soon. My mom would never have left hey, me in a... Hey, Mr. Pinkle. Store by myself like this. Mixtape copied? Yeah. Sure is a nice thing to do for your mom. How's she doing anyway? She's fine. Well, glad to hear it. Both sides? Come back in about an hour and it'll be ready. All right. Thank you. Hey, Petey. Who's this? You make that mix for your boyfriend? <laughs> I made it for your mom. Watch it, or you'll be swallowing your own teeth. Mm. Afraid I'm gonna break it again? <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna hit you again? <laughs> Listen to you. Pretending you got balls. Hey, how's that lip doing? Oh, be nice. Give me that. Uh, uh, no, do that. Okay, my controller was working. What are you doing here anyway? You don't have money. What Everyone a bully. Everyone town's talking about it. Your mom can't even pay her medical bills. Oh? Huh? She's been going door to door asking for help like some pathetic loser. She's probably off looking for change in the sewers right now. Don't make me hit you. Oh, you're threatening me now? Sure I am. Go on, take a swing. I won't even feel it. You gonna cry now? Huh? 
Let's what use my fist. All in or nothing. Deserved it. Don't you? Oh. Uh oh. Right. Damn. Hey. Hey, stop. Yeah. I didn't mean what I said. I, I, yes, I'm you sorry. did. Peter! Please, please! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Damn. What did you do? Peter, this wasn't my fault. He started it. And you could have stopped it. Are you okay? I think he might have broken my jaw. We talked about this, Peter. I asked you to try not to fight. Look at this. <coughs> Look at this poor boy. <coughs> Mom! Uh -huh. Oh, God. I'll call an ambulance. She's just coughing. You're so close, Peter. Oh, my God. It's so creepy. I will say this, though. This game has inspired me to start playing or start watching the Marvel series, movies, and TV shows again. How did I get home? Episode three, more than a feeling, more than a feeling. I'm not a good singer. Don't do that to me. Don't, don't come for me. So we're in what looks like to be a the woods. I want to call this a forest? Forest woods. I don't know. It's not a jungle. What's the difference between the three? Comment down below. Okay, I'm walking. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't catch that. This <laughs> this temple is really messing with my head. Again. Uh, what'd you say? Hello, Gamora. Ah! Oh, hey, Gamora. Come on, what? Nebula. What are you doing? You can do better than that. Oh. Not Nebula. It's me, Peter, who you like a whole lot and definitely do not want to kill. Oh on, shoot! This isn't fair. Missed it. I don't have a sword. Dang. Now, wouldn't that hurt her? Come on. You gotta press Y. Ooh, brightness. Focus, Nebula. Oh, this was to be like a training or something. Perception's just as important as strength and speed. None of them are important when I'm stuck here. I want to use what you've taught me somewhere outside of this room. I'm sick of just doing the same thing over and over, every single day. You're not ready yet, Nebula. You still have a lot to learn. Oh, really? Is that what you think? This is pretty cool. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Looks like you've lost your touch. <laughs> Hardly. <laughs> hey, XB. That was actually a little impressive. <laughs> Just a little. See, that's one thing I liked about the um, old Telltale games versus like the newer one, which was The Expanse. Um, I can't. Characters' words are me. different colors. I'm gonna beat her. I win. Oh, Thanos. Father. Nebula, 
You have grown so much. Oh my god. You may yet be the greatest assassin in the galaxy. Don't you agree, Gamora? No. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Well, she does have the best teacher. I wouldn't expect anything less. And yet Nebula is the one who disarmed you. Perhaps the teacher might learn from the student. I have a mission for you. You will go to a Kree outpost on the planet of Phalion. There you will find General Tarval. He has come into possession of something I require. A device. Gamora, you will fetch the device for me. Mm. You, Nebula. You will kill the General. Oh, she ain't ready for all that. I, I promise you, I will succeed. I know you will, daughter. Gamora. You were always my favorite. But you have become cold, distant. We will not disappoint you, father. But you already have, Gamora. Otherwise, you would not be taking Nebula with you. Go and prepare. You will head out immediately. And Gamora, I know you no longer care. But if you fail, your sister will pay for your missteps. Oh. Tell Nebula I wish to speak with her. <sighs> all right. Is everything all right? What's going on? I couldn't hear you, but father, he didn't look happy. I tell her. Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? The fact that they seem scared of their own father is crazy to me. Looks like he's almost scolding her. Interesting. Cree Atpos Billion. I hope I said that right. I suck at pronouncing words and made up crap. I have realized yes, that is a weakness. It. My chance to prove myself. Or fail miserably. Don't worry, Nebula. I've got your back. No. I've got to do this myself. It's what I've been training for. I won't let father down. Let's just do this. The throne. So I guess we're about to find out how the Kree fell. And Thanos is apparently responsible. I think we already knew that from a previous episode. And why? Okay. Oh, you're telling me not everybody saw? Okay, there we go. There you are. Oh, why? I pressed B on accident. X. Right trigger. I love it. I got a gun. Oh. I pressed left trigger and right tr instead of right trigger by mistake. I have died at least once on every episode so far. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Now Nebula was supposed to do that. I think Gamora is about to get in trouble if we don't find Nebula. out. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Father. What? Is he there? Me, the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me. Now. I'm not asking here. I'm Do not it. doing it. No. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you? Oh. She stabbed me in the back? Like, it's pleasing daddy that big of a deal? I would never kill for anybody. Not like that, at least. Oh, I got my Hulk shirt on today. I've, like, been on a clothes buying spree where I'm buying all my favorite, like, TV shows, cartoons, stuff like that. Um, Marvel, I want, I want t-shirts that at least one for every superhero, Marvel and DC, so. You slapped me. Oh, but those are just so sorry. I was trying to snap you out of it before you killed me. Well, that's not the way to do it. Well, apparently it was. Stop. Stop <laughs> slapping me. <laughs> God damn. Stop it! Uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, uncle, uncle! Love it. One more. Don't do that again. Can I do it one more time? Darn, I, I wanted to go on a little bit more. One minute you and I were walking into the temple, and the next yeah, I was... Yeah, I, uh, I know. Wait, were you... Did you see all that? My memory? You okay? I never wanted to think of that time in my life again. I've really been trying to let Nebula go. But seeing that... She thought I was being selfish. Taking away everything she worked so hard to achieve. That's why she turned on me. She tried to kill you. There is no excuse for that. Look. If anyone deserves to hold a grudge, it's you. That's Agreed. how Nebula sees it. That last moment, mm. it became everything. All I remembered of her. But there were times we were happy. Despite Thanos. Despite everything. We had each other. Maybe... Maybe I could have done more. Been more honest with how I was feeling. Gamora. She didn't want your help. She wanted to prove herself on her own. Even if it meant hurting you. I know, but... Nebula is who she is because of me. That hatred. That coldness. Her inability to trust anyone. She is Thanos' daughter. Who mm. else could she be after I betrayed her? I failed her. Oh. Listen. Didn't know what friend. to really say there. And I don't make friends with failures, okay? I, uh, don't think that's true. Look, the point is, no matter what you did in the past, I will always stand by you. You're awesome. I'm proud to call you my friend. That is so cheesy. <laughs> I know. But I think I've made my point. Now come on. Let's figure out why the Forge brought us here before things get even more... Even more what? Weird. Oh, man. 
My mom loved this song. She played that record non-stop. I will say one thing about this game. It's good music, even Peter though I have um, it set on stream-friendly music, where it won't have the actual song. We don't know what we'll find inside. Don't worry, okay? I can handle whatever happens. I promise. I've heard that before. Oh, come on. That time I died? That totally doesn't count. Lead on then, but carefully. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, a casket. We're in a church. I think that's a casket that these flowers are on. And they look like lilies. I am just so itchy today. I was outside earlier um, playing with the dogs, and I've just been itchy ever since I got back inside. I hate it. recognize this place? Yeah. This is where my mom went. This is where I saw her last. Mm. I don't know what all this means, Peter. Me neither. But I hope somehow you get your mom back. Only one way to find out. I don't think we're going to get her back. I think this is like a trap by the Cree. Yeah, funerals, I hate them. It's like the realization that a funeral is like the realization like that's the last time you're ever going to see your loved one. And it really hits you hard sometimes. Alright, let's keep going. Then it randomly stops. It's crazy. There's something behind this. Huh? Ooh. What is that? Oh, it's all the Cree. It's a Cree casket. Looks like there's someone in there. Yep. Not your mom. so painful are you okay yes now that you are here not your mom right definitely not <laughs> you you came for me after all these Ooh, what are these they're very shiny I feel like I've seen her in a movie before hey over here I don't know <sighs> Peter Quill really here it's been centuries no millennia how do you know who I am we have met we have but I was not me uh? I am called mantis mantis No, my gun. Your gun? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <sighs> Very well then. Oh, 
Why? Um. Didn't see that coming. <sighs> it is so wonderful to be free of that tomb. No longer trapped in my own mind. Alone. Oh, she's lonely. You are truly the hero the legends foretold. So brave and handsome. You're wondering no, what I'm doing on camera, a blanket. Sense. What? Ha! You must have many questions for me. I crossed the entire galaxy because my mom was calling to me, asking me to come find her. Where is she? She is dead. Oh my god. But your mother, Meredith, she is alive in your memory. Yeah, that, uh, that doesn't explain anything. I have been waiting for you all this time. The moment you touched the forge, I knew you were the celestial one, that you could free me. So I reached out to you the only way I could, through your memories. The ones most vivid to you. But you must understand, I had no control over them. I... Yes, you should be proud of freeing me. I no longer have to stare into the infinite crushing darkness. It was so boring. How could you possibly know how he feels? I can show you, angry lady. Oh, no. Never mind. May I show you? Please, I mean no harm. Mm. Watch. Do it again, do it again, come on. With great pleasure. Oh my gosh. Oh, this isn't going to go well. <laughs> Um, think thirty thoughts. Oh. Uh, what emotion was that? I do not believe I should say out loud. Sexual. You oh see, my god! I am an empath. I can read the emotions of others. It is my duty to help the celestial one decide the fate of the forge. Hmm. That could really come in handy. Oh, yeah, we say yeah, I remember her in yeah. the movies now. Introduce an emotionally charged being to a group who are emotionally sensitive. Who should we try on first? I got just the one. I've always wanted to know what group thinks. Besides group. <laughs> This tree man has profound love and affection for everyone in this room. I am Groot. Oh, not everyone. Oh? Some of you he has mixed feelings about. <clears throat> he is pleased that someone can understand his true feelings. Mantis is an empath, Groot. She can sense your emotions. She's also the one who made us relive our memories. Mm. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho holla for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? She thinks I'm someone called the Celestial One. How about that? Celestial what? Why is there only one? And could that one also be me? Oh, I can explain. <laughs> Please do. Why are you on the table? Long ago. Wait, wait, wait. Are you going to spew some long mumbo jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? <laughs> yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos going on like, <laughs> now that I got this, I'm going to roll. Let's just do it. Just like piss off Rocket. And blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. <laughs> Eons ago, the Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But 
such Man. colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, lightly. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. <laughs> the Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use wonder the forge how long it'll go on for. Required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated. Locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant <laughs> story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Ooh. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's... <laughs> That describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the celestial one. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on someone else it didn't do a damn thing your loss i can feel it has been with you for some time the sorry one of my armrests right broke now. and i'm ordering you a new one as they talk so that is mostly whole do, 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 do. i will go with this one <sighs> i am growth doesn't seem all, right. all that useful to me Shoot. it can become more useful how the Celestial One must deliver the Forge to the Sacred Shrine. There you can unlock its true power. Or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period this is what back it to is. the realm of the living. Lost ones. Loved ones. I suppose hated ones too. If you were so inclined. Why would I destroy the forge? This thing sounds awesome. <clears throat> Holla. <clears throat> its awesomeness comes with a price. Life energy cannot be made. It must be transferred. Oh. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right now. Holla wants to <laughs> use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I'm Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry. I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot. Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone mm, that we lost. I don't know wow. what to do. Uh, okay, this is uh, <laughs> it's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been, but with your help, I believe I can sense its location. Cool. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. Ah. 
I don't know what I need to do, but I'm gonna do it. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Oh, I don't want to help them. Let's go to Drax first. Calmed. Drax, how are you doing? I was angry that you did not allow me to guard Nebula. But that... <sighs> but now, I am hopeful. I am. Forge can bring Groot. my family back if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter. Even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You used that antenna woman's powers without permission. It was wrong of you to do that. Even if the tree did not mind. Come on, mm. it wasn't that bad. Was it? Our feelings are our own. They belong to us alone. Oh, come on. You're all a bunch of spoil sports. What Mantis did? is freaking awesome you guys need to lighten up losing weight would not have changed anyone's feelings <laughs> ability to see into our emotions it must be difficult i would not wish to know the pain of others as well as my own thank you for checking in on me peter you may leave now oh shut up well Drax hates me Hey, we're doing good so far. Where's Gamora? Yeah, let's talk to them. Everything okay here? Not now. Just give us a minute, please. Okay, so we talked to them last. Um, uh, Rocket. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back someone they love. Is he drunk? I am Groot. I'm not going to kill someone to use this thing. End of story. You already did. We killed Thanos, remember? Oh. And it saved you. you know, this is true. You think of it. I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. He should have brought someone else. Anyone else back and He's stay. drunk. Have to do it. I am Groot. You're right. You're right. I deserve that. I'm sorry, Pete. Come on. Come on. Ha have a drink with me. Alcohol cleans all sorts of wounds. I guess so. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, P. You know, you know what you, you know what you. Well, that's one way to deal with emotions. <laughs> I am Groot. I'm proud of you, Groot. He has like a little, um, saw a little sprout in his drink. Stop it. Fine. Hey, are you okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while. Ugh, she won't hear it. Not from me. Oh, I'm sorry. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know, I'm really trying. But I just can't find the right words with her but maybe maybe if we had more time i could try talking to her again when she's calmed down give her some space without losing her altogether well they say time heals all wounds i guess who's they i don't know I no idea maybe i can get her to hang around just 
Maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. Mm. All right, do I need to talk to her now? She looks like she's upset. How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still something blocking me. What is it? Groot. Hey there, Groot. Oh, is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. I love Groot. Alright, so that's done. Nebula. Um, Technically, I already talked to hey, Gamora. Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey. It's me. Peter Quill, but uh, yeah, but you know that. Smooth. You mind if I sit? Cool. Yeah, this is uh, this is really. How's the arm? That's Damn. That's for forcing me to give you the cipher. Well, you were pretty awful to us too. I have every right to be awful to you, and especially to Gamora. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. Actually, she told me how good it was between the two of you. I mean, at least before it all went sideways. Mm. Yeah, there were a lot of good times, but I didn't last very long. I bet she forgot to mention how she ruined our family, how she destroyed my life. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. Yes, he would have. I have no idea what really happened that day. I saw it. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Yes, you. <laughs> Me? Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> That's what I say to people. Alright, I'm going to take her hand. Where is the little cursor? There it is. A lot of sounds. Ooh. Hate the bright white. Right? What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Hmm. Hey, Thanos. Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something mm. you must know about Gamora. What? She's not she my sister? Said she would not disappoint me. But I am not so sure. Every day, she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. Oh, You've seen that. her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. I don't trust you. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Mm. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. It would be an honor, father. 
We shall see how things go on Phalian. Why does it matter if Thanos this remembers that he's dead? Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Look at this. And we're seeing her side of it. Ow. That's how I got on the ground. Yeah, he, he would have killed me. Oh my god, go. Dang, so I did have it. Nebula, Nebula, are you all right? Are you Or hurt? she did have it. Why do I keep saying Why? I? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me. I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. to gain the honor you desire kill Gamora oh man if you don't get rid of her I will do it myself only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly give me the device Nebula what are you doing you took my kill give me the device in exchange give it to me now I'm not asking here no, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Mm. Then you leave me no choice. What are you? Damn, watching it again and her point of view is crazy. Ooh, she fell. Is it done? What's going on? Damn. Technically, she felled her father what are then. You making him see? It wasn't over. Oh, man. Uh, we were just getting to the part where she, um, you know, what? The part where she kills you? I was trying to show him what really happened with Tarval. But of course, you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. And as usual, you didn't bother to find out until you'd ruined it. Oh, yeah. Because if I'd known you were watching yourself kill me again, I would have been fine with that. Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad mm. I had such terrible aim. Some assassin. Gamora, you are. I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh, yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Daniel said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life. it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing if me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know? I even checked your pulse just to make sure you were still alive. You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense. The only thing I know is I feel real sorry for the both of you. Man. Talk about family drama. Well, clearly right. this was pointless. I don't know what to believe or what to do. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. That family ended a long time ago. Uh, I'm the one who got stabbed here. Oh, as usual, it's about you. Gamora, stop. Look, she's made up her mind, and besides, it's pretty obvious that you guys weren't really ever a family. Peter? He's right. 
I can't believe I just said that, but this one time it's true. Wait, Nebula, I... You and I were only ever together because we had to be. Right. We don't have to Agree be. Agree with that. Where are you going to go? <laughs> Elvacor is going to be all over you the minute you leave. I've got some ideas. Mm-mm-mm. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine. Good for you. Okay. Let's go. Alright, looks like we're on the last chapter of this episode. <laughs> Rocket's cute. Also, such sadness. You are a very nostalgic person. <laughs> wow. <laughs> hey, hey, whoa, what's the matter? What? Why are you crying? Why am I crying? Oh, God. Little box. Oh, it brings you so God. much sorrow. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Drax. I'm sorry for that. Sometimes emotions overwhelm me and reflect back onto others. Yeah, that's cool. <clears throat> I'm cool. I'm cool. Okay. Everyone on this ship is so poisoned by their feelings, overly focused on the past, not living here in the now. Well, it's hard to let go of the past makes you who you are. I can see that, but I don't want to be defined by what came before. Everyone should be able to correct the course they're on. Thank you for letting me listen to your music. It made me feel better and worse at the same time. I loved it. Mm. Hey, Mantis, can you direct me to that magic shrine thing now? Of course, but it is a long way, and I must concentrate completely. There can be no... there can be no distraction... Distractions. I'll see what I can do. Huh. <laughs> Great. What's this? Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> Making a basketball go. Don't hit him in the face.
What is she doing out there? That's insane. Robino Unknown. All right. The entrance to the shrine. Dang, it's huge. Okay. Little mystery. This is it. Yay! Another temple! <sighs> the Cree were not only skilled warriors. You can find great symbolism in much of their architecture. Yeah, yeah, they like pretty things. We get it. <laughs> now what, Pete? The Mantis? Any pointers? It appears the forge goes there. On the altar. Forge is that green thing, if I remember yet. Alright, let's put it on here. I feel like a lot of crap's about to happen. It didn't do nothing. Seriously? Well, that was anticlimactic. There it is. Well, all these other lights the light up there behind you of course something's wrong because we're in a freaking creed temple where everything is always more complicated than it needs to be i mean ain't right. they ever heard of an on switch there we go Let me look up here first there's like there's a light this guy I feel like that should have done something. There's something down here. Okay. That's what I wanted to look at. Aim. That's what I need to do. Aim. I don't even need to look at it. Let's see. 
Hey, Rocket. Tell Groot I need some help with the lens thingy. Okay, okay. I am Groot. Groot's gonna hold it in place. I didn't know Groot could stretch like that. Hey. Yeah, good job, buddy. That forge is gonna be resurrected in no time. I am Groot. He says you might destroy it. That he hopes you do. Is that really what he said? Hmm. One more to go. Something tells me it's not gonna be easy. Yeah, I agree. Oh, Groot. That was Groot. Alright, let's walk over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Alright, that one's doing its thing. Where is this other one? Oh, wait. Tell me, look at it. Go! I wish they would run! Walk so slow. guy looks almost peaceful just standing here for who knows how long yes waiting for the celestial one to determine the fate of the eternity forge mm. yeah but all right see, so he's right he behind me you'll do the right thing peaceful like you said all right so that was a waste of time so go straight across This guy. No, nope, can't land yet. All right. We're gonna okay, look at it, see. see what we could do. This big guy used to stand here, holding up that giant whatever it is thingy. Things go bad. Age sets in. Oh no, I dropped it. Bah. So where did it go? Mm. There it goes. Over there. I love this little thing. Over here somewhere. Oh, I thought it did. Oh, yep. Yeah. Went in here. Okay. It's stuck in there. What now, Celestial One? Oh, shoot. Let's lift it. Gonna need help. There we go. It's under there, though. Oh. oh come on. Stupid jet boots overheated. Um, give me Drax. Drax, I need your muscles. You cannot have them. They are attached to me. No, I know they <laughs> I need your help. I've got to lift something very heavy. Ah, I see. You are weak. I will help you. I am ready. Can't quite... Rocket. We need rocket. Hey, rocket. There we go. You to grab that lens. Nah, getting crushed to death ain't on my list of to-dos, Pete. I'm sure if you just reach really hard, you, you can get it. 
You're the only one who can fit. Ah, so it's a little guy thing. Of course. Can't be that I'm the quickest or the smartest. Okay, okay. But I get smushed. I'd better be first in line for some resurrection. You will be, I promise. Thank you, Rocket. Never make me do that again. I had to crawl on all fours. It's degrading. <laughs> There is still no statue upon which to set it. You're welcome. We did not thank you. Ingrates. Interesting. No, it's not. They're just ingrates. Yep. We just gotta, you know, work together. Oh, you mean like a team? What a novel idea. Yes, teamwork often brings good feelings. Hmm. Perhaps we are doing it wrong, Ben. Okay, listen up. I need everyone over here. Just a little higher. My arms can't go any higher. Your muscles are soft. Oh, shut up. Guys, stop talking. Like a baby's bottom. Shut up. No! Talk to our first. Oh, very fat baby. Sorry. Hey, <laughs> what do I know about whatever you are? Blood tracks. <sighs> Maybe your people enjoy having their faces step right. out. Bam. Something's going down, okay. It's done. That mean I can drop this thing? Go for it. Ow. I hope your foot's okay. I'm gonna take the dynamite to all of them. Now it is truly time to decide. Turn the forge to the left to destroy it forever. Turn the forge to the right to empower it and bring it to its full potential. Okay. Wait. His right or your right? Oh. Hmm. I don't know. What? what? Let me see. Wow. I can't believe that almost happened. Turn it this way to destroy it. Turn it this... Yeah, we got it. Turn it to the right, Pete. It's left, Peter. You want your left. Peter, you must turn it left. No! It's right to empower you, idiot. I'm sorry. But if the Forge can bring back the people we love, it's worth any risk. As you wish, Celestial One. The reason why I did it is because I'm greedy. <laughs> I kind of want to see how much it messes up everything. Don't. We are no better than Thanos. Don't bring your daddy issues into this. Pete did the right Says thing. Says the raccoon who has Don't no more Don't call me a raccoon. I'm looking out for life. Process has begun. You can release it. After you murder someone to bring her back. Oh, you're gonna give me crap about murdering someone? You worried I'll take your place as the galaxy's number one murderer? Fuck it. I am through. It is over. We won. No, we just lost. How can neither of you see that? Guys, we got company. Thank you, Peter Quill. I never could have found this shrine without you. Oh, crap. And the tracking device genes are placed on your ship. You know, I didn't think you could get more annoying than that time you killed me. <laughs> you really suck. Oh, great. Sister? Nebula, what are you doing? She's just a follower. Nebula wants what I want. Justice for those we lost. Besides, like he said, we were never a family. Their usefulness has expired. 
dispose of them. Oh crap. Big fight, love it. Well, there's one. Not again. God, I have friggin' hate that thing. Oh, I've had about enough of this. God, boots are more busted than I thought. How you like me now, huh? <laughs> huh? You gotta get her. Oh no, my boots. Ouch. That's how she got me last time, basically. Perish to the depths, blue demon. You want to make these idiots your family? You can die with them! You won't win. Yeah, I will. Dude! Just let go! <laughs> Dang! What a punch. <laughs> oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I couldn't find the um. Well, ain't that something? <laughs> couldn't find the cursor. Stop the rodent! Big blue lady. Not the first time. Hmm. Intriguing. Can you let me have a minute? Sheesh. Now, Love where that. was I? Well, that was surprisingly easy. Hang on, buddy, I got you. What? Oh crap. Oh, this ain't good. Crap. Save it, group. I am rude. It's not like I did it on purpose. Things got a bit of a learning curve. I swear to God, if she starts crying with them. I'm sorry to have made you sad. Ooh. But the fight scenes in this. You want to keep fighting? Fine. I'll just keep winning. Again and again. Until all that's left of you is one tiny little piece. The only part of you that's actually worth something. I hate you! Where'd I go? Where'd they go? Get her. Oh, kind of killed her right then and there. Maybe let go away. You and
and your friends are fools. Come on, come on, come on! Work, damn it! Dang. That's how it works, huh? I feel like this is gonna make things a bit more complicated. Thank good. Oh, and that was it, y'all. I like that. I like that a lot. Nice little cliffhanger for Wednesday or Thursday when I upload. All right, so I looked into this um, choice screen thing. It won't let me do it. I think it's because when Telltale went out of business and then someone bought it, the different server, so they're kind of lame about it. But that's all right. I hope you guys liked what you saw. Um, enjoy the credits, and I'll be back soon. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe, favorite. Follow me on everything, and I'll see you guys next time. After the um, next time. A portion of this episode. You guys know what I'm talking about if you watch my videos. See you guys next time. Peace. <clears throat>
Mantis is tagging along, but she's only creating more questions than answers. About the Eternity Forge, about Hala, about everything. Janitors of the galaxy. That's what we should be called. And Hala and the Kree, well, they're just the latest cosmic spill. Mm. I am Groot. I am Groot. Peter handed Hala everything that she wanted. Well, it seemed like a good idea. It did. It's what happened next that he should regret. Ooh, what happened next? Alright guys, I'll see you next time for episode 4.